The ongoing protests and civil disobedience movement against the Myanmar military has brought Myanmar to a standstill. From hospitals and railways to shops and trading houses, much of society has stopped showing up for work in an attempt to show defiance against the military rule in their country. The growing persistence of the civil disobedience movement has evolved into a potent weapon against the military. According to reports, up to 90% of national government activity has ceased. Factories have shut their production due to shortage of workers. In February, the National Business Registry recorded fewer than 190 new registrations compared with nearly 1,300 the year before. With employees of private banks joining the strike, most money flows in and out of the country have also stopped. In a country where at least a third of the population was already living below poverty line, civil disobedience is bringing tremendous self-imposed hardship to the people of Burma. Myanmar's economy, one of the least developed in Asia after decades of military mismanagement, was already reeling from the coronavirus pandemic. The ongoing strikes have made the crisis even worse. However, protesters are hopeful that few days of hardship will help serve their purpose in combating the military rule in their country. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets of Napito on Saturday to demand the ouster of military rule. Security forces, however, continued their violent crackdown on the protesters in the northern part of the country on Saturday despite international pressure growing on the military leadership. Nearly 20 protesters were held overnight across the country. At least 230 people have been killed in Myanmar since the beginning of the coup as the authorities continue their violent crackdown on anti-coup demonstrations across the country. Meanwhile, Myanmar's democratically elected rulers and leaders, including Suu Kyi and other members of her party, continue to remain in detention. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.